Mouse gestures can also be sorted by these environments, part, assembly, drawing, and sketch. Our last tab is Customization, and here we have access to all shortcut customization and menu customization. We can also reset to the SolidWorks factory defaults. I've canceled out of the Customize window. At the top of the SolidWorks screen is the standard Windows toolbar. It's got the usual icons, Save, Print, and so on. Right here we've got the standard Windows menu strip. We can pin it down by clicking on this pin. Under File, we can access recently opened documents. When you browse over the document, you get a preview. You can also pin down the documents so they're easily accessible. And here you can open the recent document browser. By the way, the browser can also be opened just by pressing R on your keyboard. When you mouse over a thumbnail in the browser, you can expand the thumbnail, and here you get some additional options. To close this window, click on the document, and this will open the document. Note the speech bubble and the exclamation mark on the save icon at the top of the window. Older version file. This file will be converted when saved. So if you've just opened an older version of a file, this is what you're going to see. When you save, it's going to be converted to SolidWorks 2014 and you are not able to convert it back to any previous versions of SolidWorks. Let's unpin the standard Windows menu. Here we have the search option. We can search SolidWorks Help, the Knowledge Base, the Community Forum, commands inside the program itself, files and models, and so on. Under the Command Manager is this toolbar called the Hang Up toolbar, and here are various view manipulation tools like Zoom, Previous View, Pan, section view, and so on. We'll talk about these tools in a subsequent tutorial. To add or remove tools, go back to the Customize window, Commands tab, and simply drag and drop commands right onto the toolbar.